I'm Kirsten, and we're back! I'm so sorry for the <laughs> unexpected vacation. Um, I have had a lot of work to do, and I work for the government, and things are busy, and that's all I can say, so I apologize. I'm going to try to come back to my weekly schedule of YouTube videos, but, you know, we do what we can, and I just appreciate your support in the meantime. Today, we have such a fun video to do, so I've said this before, but I never grew up knowing how to do makeup because I'm blind and I just kind of always was scared of painting my face. I didn't know what that meant. And I just had people do makeup for me when I had something formal. But today, I decided to set up a makeup consult at Blue Mercury, which is a store that has generally higher end products and brands, which I really like because I need clean things for my skin. Um, here's the twist though. <laughs> they can do makeup consults, but they can't touch you because of COVID, which is fine. I don't necessarily want their particles on me either, but it means that they are going to help me pick out products that they think I can use um, in a way that's like foolproof. And then they're going to talk me through how to put them on, which is going to be pretty interesting. And I have a promise from them that they will tell me the truth if I try to put it on and it just fails. So I'm so excited. Let's go in. My friend Sarah's with us too, and come on, let's come on. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, thank you so much. She's a representative from Chantecal, which is one of our number one ton of brands in the store. Yes, they have a very good reputation. Yes. Okay. So, yes. what we're going to be doing is just, you know, just give you what you'd like, give you the things that you need, and show you how to use them, okay? Yeah, and so what I would love is for you guys to, because I understand that every face has like a different something that would make it look good, right? And yeah. and things that it would need. Some people have great cheekbones, so you might not need as much, etc. Right? Yeah. Um. So I just want a very um, starkly honest understanding of what my face would want uh -huh. for me to give myself a little glow up. Okay. So I would say by just looking at your skin. Oh, you want me to take? <laughs> okay. Perfect. Good. So by just looking at your skin. Oh, this feels a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> I like, want to hide now. Like, don't look at me. Okay. Such a pretty smile. Yeah. Thank you. So okay. You emphasize that. On now, we see. Yeah. What? Yeah, you can put your mask back on now. Okay. You yeah. do have. Um, it looks more like combination. Skin. Yes. I have rosacea too. Okay. So I can only I only want clean products, no chemicals, if possible. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So by looking at your skin, you have um, combination skin. Okay. Yes. I would say you don't need much coverage because your skin is not. Like a acne crown, or you might have an age mask, or acne color match. They should be fine, a perfect shape for you. Okay. Um, how do you feel about brows and shadow? Um. So, <laughs> sorry, drop the dog. <laughs> um. So, I have read a lot about other blind people who do makeup, and they find that cream-based products are easier to put on for them because they don't get everywhere. Right. So I'm fine with really anything. The goal is to find things that I can do myself and not worry. Yeah, and it's going to be easy and quick. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So let me grab some products. Okay. We can get started, okay? Okay. Oh, I have, I do use mascara. Okay. I just haven't, I didn't bring it with me. Um, this is the, I use, Josie Meringue. I use her stuff. It's almost out, so I might need more, but this works really well for me. Okay. With a, with a makeup brush, and then I have a Laura Mercier lipstick that I like. Okay. So I've been using that, okay. but other than that, I'm like yeah. in desperate need. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so let me grab some products and okay. get started, okay? Yeah. Yeah, so they have some really nice perfume over there. They do. Do you want to get some? I don't know. It smells really good. Yeah. They have nice stuff here, generally. Okay. I thought about coming here for perfume, too. What I picked up was the Chantecal blush and the Happy yeah. shade, it's a free blush. Um, it's great. I we have. Hang on. Do you want to get both of them? Under eye concealer. 
<laughs> under eye concealer. Oh no! Let me also have the serum I was telling you about earlier. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can get that done. And then what about like bronzer or contour or whatever? Do I need that or could I? It, you have a nice cheekbone. Okay. Already, so you don't need to um okay. to do too much of that. Just so you do put a highlighter on to make it look more defined. I would say. You gotta show me how to do that. Yeah. I don't know how to do that. Okay. I'll highlight myself into a Halloween costume. All right. So what we're gonna do? Let me grab. I'm actually awkwardly scared. <laughs> oh really? I wonder if he would help me with under eye cream. He probably will. Yeah. You got it. I didn't make an appointment or call ahead or. No, you can always just walk in. Yeah. Or just be dragged in. You were dragged. You came <laughs> voluntarily. <laughs> Which is funny because after this very after this very girly appointment, we're gonna go to Cabela's and get stuff for camping. So this is like my life. You know what I mean? Well, these are pretty, um, um, they just put it in. So yeah, I, I like it. Refreshing lip treatment. Yeah. 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 The Bow Levre Um. Are you having a good time at the makeup store? Serum. Are you having a good time at the makeup store? She's like, no, get me out. <laughs> yeah, she's not having a good time. I'll be sure. I do this guy, the radiance elixir serum. Yeah. It's like, it's okay. I'll get that cream for you. So, what I'm going to give you first yeah. is your serum. Okay. So, each step, you'll be able to put it down to apply it. So, I'm going to give you this in your hand now. Here you go. Focus it on your cheeks, on the um, inner part of your cheeks, and just blot it. So, you can see the just here or my whole face? You can do your whole face, but I want you to focus. Okay, so then what do I do? So you will let that just absorb into the skin and it will start to calm down the redhead. Yeah, for me, I just, I like, the redness is hard. My face will like heat up a little kind of, and especially, oh my gosh, if I get embarrassed, it's the worst. <laughs> okay, so this is the serum. So that's your serum. Oh, it feels good. It's, it's very light. It's very light. So it goes right into the skin, and it's a clean brand, so you don't have to worry about it causing any irritation. Do I put that on usually under the moisturizer? Yes. Okay. That would be right after your wash. Yeah. Okay. Do you want this? Uh, yes, I can take that back from you. And so next what we're going to do is cover match. Make sure that the foundation that we are using is to match your skin. The first shade I'm going to use is called Ivory. Okay. I'm going to go to Alabaster because that looks dark. <laughs> Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hand it off to you again. Focus it on your forehead. What do I do? So just blot it. The same way you put on the okay. serum, you will blot that all over your forehead just to make sure to cut a match. Don't forget that you got it. it down some. Now take your hands and just rub it like a moisturizer. There you go. Mm -hmm. Keep going in that area right there. Yeah, I used too much. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. There you go. Do I do it on the other parts of my face? Okay. Yeah, so go under your eye and just wipe on your right hand. Yeah, there you go. Yep. And on the lid. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Righty. <laughs> that was easy. Okay. Is it? Does it match well? Is it yes. okay? Yes. Yeah, so you, you can't even tell you have anything. Oh, cool. Went right in. So what I'm going to do next is some concealer. So should I put this on the rest of my face now? You can. It looks like you don't have it. Yeah, you can. I'll give you a little bit more. Okay. Do you think that... Yeah. And this is the Shantakai. Yeah, let me get this. Because it's very finger friendly. 
and it looks like skin. So you would have a nice little glow. I love that it doesn't smell like anything. Yeah. <laughs> it, it really just is very uh, light and clean. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see Perfect. Okay, how is that? Perfect. All set. So now, what I want you to do, don't put it on just yet. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil back in there. Now focus it on your cheeks, your inner cheeks, more close to your under eye area, and just blot it. So just take it and just press, 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 press. Yes, keep pressing. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Keep going. Good job. Good job. Good job. Perfect. Okay. Okay, can I go over to the next side? Perfect. All blended in. I don't know that I'm gonna know when to stop. I guess I could just You could feel. That's why I say use your hands because you'll know when it's all in. Yeah. There you go. So what does the pressing technique the do? The pressing technique adds coverage. So when you, when you, wipe, when you wipe, wipe it, it's more sheer. When you press it, it's more coverage. So it will cool. have on the coverage in that area. Cool, thanks. So you don't need to do that same pressure motion throughout your whole face. Just focus it on your under eye area where your um where you my, have most of your rotation. Yeah. My my cheeks are always super red. Okay. So now we're going to go with some concealer. Okay. This concealer is very light. Sit. Same texture. So you won't need a lot. Do you want this? Yeah, so I'm flipped on the other side because the concealer is a little lighter. So what I'm going to do is just add some concealer over here. Uh -huh. This is what I want you to do with the concealer. It's a little different from the face. So now I'm gonna hold this for you. I want you to pick it up with your finger. Pick what? Um, pick up the product with your finger. So use your best finger. There you go. Now blot it under your eye. And make sure you look upward so you won't get it in your lash. There you go. Just press it. Perfect. Keep pressing. Now take it down just a little bit. There you go. For those, like if you're the final one, is like a. Perfect, 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 perfect. Is a. Uh huh. Now take it out to your cheekbone just a little bit. There you go. Because a lot of people there you go. Uh -huh. Perfect. Um, they actually donated a lot of these to the workers and the. Uh, oh, oh, they're okay, Pat. <laughs> so now take this sponge here and just press over top of that. Do you know where the CBD tester went? The jar? It should have been in the front. It should be in the front. Oh, oh, it's okay. There you go. Now you're pressed in. So yes, yeah, you're looking at the eye. So we will continue the thing, same thing on the other eye, okay? It just wake your eyes up. Yeah, it, it really warm. does. What do you mean wake my eyes up? I'm already awake. So basically, when you don't have one any consider, everybody have a little bit of like a redness around their eye, or like a little bit of a darkness around their eye, and it make their eyes look tired, like you sleep. Oh so no. If you put consider on, it wakes them up and give you more of a less. Okay, so I'm gonna give you this back. You just press it all in. There you go. So is there? I always yeah, heard. Turn in the corner of your eye. Yeah, like shit, 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 shit. When you when you're near your eyes, you don't want to do anything like. So with the concealer, you want to get as close as possible. Not an eye cream. So eye oh, cream oh, is concentrated okay. and it has certain ingredients that will irritate your eye. Okay. Cream. So you just do really gently. So you do it really gently okay. around that area. That's not gonna give her wrinkles. No, 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 no. no, no, no. That's what I'm telling her press and not rub. When you rub, oh, that see. causes the skin to scratch out. Okay. Do my eyes look awake now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really nice. It looks really nice. Yeah. You have to understand that when you're talking about like painting, uh -huh. my face feels the same. And so it's very hard for me to understand conceptually that it looks different. Yeah. 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 So this is this is cool. So that's the reason I chose this brand because it's vegan. It's clean. Yay. It's easy to maneuver. I was telling you, you don't need to use the con the contour because yeah. you already have a nice bone structure. So you use other things to Thank advance. you. 
So what I'm gonna do now is for a little of this concealer, I mean just as a concealer, this um blush uh -huh. on a sponge. So what I want you to do is take the sponge and lightly press it on the apples of your cheeks. And then take the sponge and like I said, I'm gonna stop then take your two fingers, your two inner fingers and just press, yes, and just press the blush in that area. Okay. okay. And make a circular motion. I yeah. did that. Oh, yeah. I did that. <laughs> I did that. Circular motion, okay? Yeah. Okay, so let me get another sponge. I thought you did cool undertone. Okay. Oh, I've always wanted to know that. <laughs> I have a cool undertone. That means... Yes. So that means that you can use anything like a like peachy uh -huh. or um, corally as a blush. Okay. And it Perfect. won't make it look like it's unnormal. Okay. Perfect. Curly? Corally. Coral. 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 Corally. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is have you. Yes. Let me just switch. There you go. And I'm gonna hold it this way, and the blush is gonna be on the opposite end, okay? Okay. So take your finger, your two fingers. Mm -hmm. two press fingers. it right there. That's it. That's it. That's all. Now press okay. it in the cheek area. Just smile. Keep smiling. Oh, is it? I smile first? Yes. Now feel the puffiness of the cheek area. And this part? No, right there. Yes. So just press it in oh, the skin. This is gonna be. I just have to keep smiling this whole time. Mm -hmm. And just kind of. Just press it in. Oh, press, press, sorry. Yes. You said press. How low down do I go? And just stay right there. <laughs> How low? Further. Like the Casper slide. Yeah, so pick up a little bit more. Oh. Yeah, pick up a little more. There you go. <laughs> because you don't want it to be too red because you don't want the your um, cheeks to look like you have rosacea when you just covered it. Right? Perfect. Okay, now what? Now pick up it again and do it on the other side. You're doing pretty, pretty, pretty good. Are you sure? Yeah. You've got to criticize. I, <laughs> I can take it. So there you go. Press, press, press. I'm really impressed. Like, really impressed. Oh, thank you. I can, if I, if I, if I just go to mess it up, though, you just got to say, like, girl, I said no. <laughs> so. Did you put something on her cheeks already? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. It's a foundation. Light coverage. Okay. Yeah, your skin looks very uniform. Okay. Now add a little bit more on that side. So, so. Just keep smiling. <laughs> How far over do I go? You can go all the way up to the bone, all the way up to your arm temple. There you go. Mm. Got it? Who has the look? I don't know. So she, oh, got the on, she got the on, she got the It looks on. so good. It looks so natural down there. It does. It oh my god. Really do I go, how far in do I go toward my nose and mouth? Um, you don't go in at all. Just keep it Just here? Yeah, just keep it where you was at. Just where the little... Yeah. That's a good rule of thumb, two fingers away. Yeah. Oh, two fingers from your nose? Oh! Yeah. So only here on? Yes. Huh. Two fingers away from your ear? Yeah. So, so don't go down. Oh, don't. Yep, yeah, got it. Oh, <laughs> yep. see, no, this is the type of thing I need. Yep, yeah, it's it's yeah, yeah, that's a straight. Someone told, someone told me that I was like, oh my god, that's genius. I love rules. <laughs> so my siblings have been making fun of me for that my entire life. Okay. So now you have your face is complete now. So the only thing that you will need is a lipstick, brow, and some eyeshadow. Okay. The only thing, and your mascara, of course. Of course. <laughs> I actually got this from a Blue Mercury in DC, so. Um, let me know if that if that uh, shade is bad for me. I would say go a little lighter. This is a nice fall color, so you can use it now, but when mm -hmm. you get a little bit warmer, I mean warmer outside, go a little lighter. Mm -hmm. This one gives you more of a, a fall look. Okay. Because it's a really like a um, raspberry color. So do you want me to put this on or would you? Hey, how are you? No, I'm gonna get you another lip. Hi. Okay. Okay. Right, so okay. before we go to the lips, okay? Is that gonna be a cream too? It's more of a cream to powder. So okay. Is, are you sure? I get powder everywhere, so I don't know. It's not gonna fall anywhere. Okay. So what I'm gonna do all right, all right. is turn your hand around. Uh, this way? Yes. Okay, I know I want I'm gonna put some hair. Yeah. Okay. Take your finger, push it up. Okay. Your ring finger. It's less pressure. Bring it down just a little. Right there. Right. There you go. So pick it up. Okay. Now lightly press it on the inter, I mean your center of your eye. The so, center. Yeah. So close. Okay. Take it up a little bit more. There you go. Right there. Now press it in. Oh, I love that. Yes, it's so pretty. Girl, yes. Do I go to my you know, keep brow bone or just here? Just keep it there. You don't want to bring it up too high. 
Yeah. If you bring it up too high, it's reminded of the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> How far out do I go? You go right until the um, socket, and it's right there, bam. Take it up just a little bit more, just a little. There you go. Okay, now let me see. Perfect. Are you sure? Yeah. I can I can fix it. No, it's it's perfect. You just scream at me. <laughs> no, it's perfect. No, literally, it's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna help the zebra. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, there's a lot of philanthropy with animals, so yeah. uh, they donate to about a dozen conservations between mm -hmm. coral reefs, sea turtles, um, butterflies, Common horses, birds. hummingbirds. So, so this, yep, so, eye shadow is specifically zebras. Yep. Yeah. So do oh, I? Oh, it has a zebra. On it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, for instance, with okay. the spring collection, they bought 75 acres in the Amazon and they gave it back to an Amazonian conservation team to indigenous women to live and maintain on. That yeah. is so, that's, so cool. Uh, I'm going to go then, visit uh, them. Uh, <laughs> they're coming out with a like, reef safe sunscreen in the spring. Uh -huh. Oh, that's really cool. Oh and then also, they're coming at the foundation next year, uh, Cushion Foundation, and all the money is going to go to this organization that helps with rehabbing orphaned baby elephants. Yeah. Okay, guys, let me know in the comments if you, <laughs> want, to, if you want a YouTube video of me going down to this conservation and hanging out with the zebras. Okay, do, <laughs> do I do something along the, you know how people do this bone yep. deal? Yep. So you want to do your brow first. And then you would put your brow bone on it. You could do your concealer on there, and it, yeah. would, it would look very natural, like because sometimes the powders can look too done. So when you do your concealer, you can just pop it on your brow, on bone, your brow bone, and it brightens it up. Yeah. Not on your eyebrow. No, no not just on your eyebrow. Right just below. under, right under your brow, like oh. right here. Sarah's like learning vicariously through my I am learning vicariously. <laughs> I didn't know like, about like Put your finger on your eyelid oh. and then pop it up. So right there. Right yep. all, all along that part, yeah. Okay, so this part, this is a, a, mas a brow mascara wand. So basically... I beg your pardon. <laughs> so how you put on mascara, yeah. so you go within the upper position. You want to do the same thing, but with this one, try your best not to go up too far. So just lightly just pike it up. So what? still here. So you would lightly just pike it up like this. On my eyebrows? So, yeah, don't go up too far. So let me show you on one side. So you just want to just paint it. Can, oh, you're like making them. It looks so good. Making them what? What's the point of this? Four. Four. Oh. Sparsing them out a little bit. Okay. And it's just adding color to the hair and not to the skin. So you just want to be very light like, like that. Thank you. Just look at it. Huh. You can see the difference between this brow and that brow. So interesting. <laughs> Joe, can you see the difference? Yeah. So can you? Yeah, right side a little bit. Wow. Did I do it okay? Mm -hmm. Really? Thank you just got it in your um in a corner. I don't know you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you did it right. Okay, look at me. Whoa. Good. I did that on the right side. I did the right <laughs> eye. Can you believe it? He taught me how to this is so cool. <laughs> so you got that down. Okay. Or put it on. Okay. Yes. I can slide. Oh, mascara's not a good idea. Right. She, she can do the mascara. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I don't want to. So with this one, you can put it on as many times out the day so it won't clunk up. It help your lashes grow. It smells moment. like Roses. botanicals. Yeah. <laughs> Water in it. It yeah. smells deli- oh, it smells like a garden. Oh. <laughs> I'm putting a garden on my face, you guys. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I love it. Yes. Wow. So with the angel of saying it's not going to get clumpy or flaky throughout the day, um, most mascaras have tar and alcohol in them, and that's what dries them out so uh -huh. fast and makes them so hard after a couple coats. Mm. This one does not have that. It has um, rose water, as you smelled, and beeswax. So that's what makes it so um, 
uh, emollient and flexible. Does that make it hypoallergenic too? Yep. Um, and so because what do you it's think? drying agents, it will last you about six to eight months. Is that eye okay or do I have to fix it? No, it looks great. It looks great. I just have to get to a little bit of the chain of the under eye. I know. So I decided I'm going to use like a a pad and like hold it under here. So in yeah, case I... Yeah, that's perfect. So take the pad, this pad here. Do you have any questions about any other stuff over here? Yep. And do the other side, and then we're gonna paint up this side. <laughs> So what I'm doing now is just taking some off for you. Okay. So I'm going to hand you this wand here. Uh-huh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the tip is the, um, the lipstick. Okay. So you can put it on your lips. Oh, yes. Oh, and then also, so they just came out with, um, if you see the color right on. So do you have a recommended technique for this? I usually do center out. So do center, center out. You do center out. So keep it, bring it down some, right there. Okay, now can you see this? Take your finger and just rub it in a little bit in the inner corner, I mean the, the, uh, the inner part of your lip, the top one. The it's right there. In it here? Yeah. Now do the other side. And that's it. Yeah. What? I've never, this is like a, that's the lightest lipstick I've ever. It's a lip pencil. So basically it's going to be very light, very lightweight. It will add enough coverage without making your lips feel like you have one. What color is it? This color is, it's more of a, it's called Snapdragon. Snapdragon. It's more of a mauve color. Yeah. It will work mauve. with the blush and the eyeshadow that you have on now. Oh yeah, it's so really it's like a perfect. Pretty. A it's a really lip. good color. So let me do one last step, okay? So that's right. So close your eyes for me. Yeah. What? Um, it's a light, okay. nice little mess. <laughs> this, this should be good. Isn't that going to take everything off? No, no, no. <laughs> it's going to set it. It's going to keep it in place. And you're all set. That's it. Huh. You did your whole complete makeup all on your own. I did my whole glow up, you guys. <laughs> so now I have to just decide which of the products I'm going to actually take home, which of the products you think made the biggest difference like if I only had to narrow it down to a certain amount and um, now we're gonna do some price comparisons and and then I'll see you guys at the end okay guys I have my bag of things they were so nice I love blue mercury because they give you all kinds of samples and and things that they feel that would be actually good for you and your skin and they go through them with you and they're like hey I gave you this because of this reason anyway this is my full face I gave my Self a glow up obviously with D'Angelo's help but um, I really want to say thank you to Blue Mercury for helping me with this they were so good about it from the entire just from the start um, they were like of course you know we can help you this isn't gonna be a problem we can talk you through this it's about technique and we can show you and as you saw he was super patient Natalia would come in with different ideas and different concepts and it was just I really feel not only that I have a full face on right now, but that I have the knowledge and kind of the foundational understanding that I can use to apply this stuff in the future, which is really what I wanted. I didn't just want to make over today. So thank you so much to Blue Mercury. Um, I'm putting um, D'Angelo's and Natalia's Instagrams in the description, so you guys should go check them out, definitely. They are so wonderful. They're great consults and the store is amazing. A lot of the products that I have support different charities and causes like protecting endangered animals and working with elephants and zebras and butterflies and just all the things that really I think are important to me and work that I would love to get into in the future so this was it I'm so excited I learned a lot and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video don't forget to take time and smile for a second and I'll see you next time yeah.